The Saint Anne police are investigating the circumstances surrounding a drive-by shooting that injured a female bartender from St. Elizabeth and a male videographer from St. Anne on Saturday night in Runaway Bay in the parish. According to reports, the incident occurred around 11.30 p.m. The female bartender, who had recently started working at a bar in Runaway Bay, was standing outside the establishment talking to the videographer when a car approached. The occupants of the car opened fire, striking both individuals before speeding away. The police were summoned, and upon arrival, they rushed both victims to the St. Anne's Bay Hospital, where they were treated and admitted in stable condition. Professor of Sustainable Development at the Mona campus of the University of the West Indies, Anthony Clayton says despite a sustained reduction in the country's murder rate, Jamaicans do not feel safe. He was reacting to the latest figures from the JCF, which show an 11% drop in murders between January 1 and June 22 this year when compared to the same period in 2023. Jamaica is one of the countries with the highest homicide rates in the world. But murders have consistently been trending down in the country for well over a year. In 2023, 1,393 people were murdered across the island. That's 105 fewer than in 2022. Between January 1 and June 22 this year, 560 murders were recorded in the country. That's 74 fewer than the corresponding period last year. Despite the reductions, it's Professor Clayton's view that people are still not feeling safer. People have been living with this problem for many, many years, and they just want it to end. They want to get their lives back. They want to be able to live in a decent, normal society. And this is the problem. When you see a 10% reduction in our homicide rate, that brings us down from one of the highest in the world to one of the highest in the world. We're still in that top group. So even when we see a 10% reduction, we still live in a very, very violent society. And this is a genuine problem. It's not enough to make people feel safe. So this I understand. He says Jamaica's love affair with violence has been built up over several decades. This problem has taken 50 years to create, and there is not very much we can do that's going to dismantle it overnight. Since the mid-1980s, levels of homicide have been going down almost everywhere in the world. This is levels of homicide outside conflict zones. There's only about 20 countries of which that is not true. Unfortunately, one of them is Jamaica. So we know that there are some special factors in Jamaica and countries like Jamaica. It's a very small group, which is keeping the level of violent crime so high. And what that suggests is that a lot of it so to me is probably due to the fact that we have so many violence producers in our society now and they tend to influence the decision making people who come into contact with them especially while they're growing up and that's not a sole problem that the police can solve by themselves that's a social and cultural problem and that's going to take some time to dismantle the lucy police in hanover are investigating the fatal shooting of a man at a bar in cooperwood district lucy on saturday the victim has been identified as 29-year-old Jemani Lowellin, also known as Jervan, from Brissett District in the parish. Reports indicate that around 9.20 p.m., Lowellin drove his Toyota Voxy bus to a bar in Cooperwood and was having a drink. Shortly afterward, three armed men entered the establishment and held patrons at gunpoint. The men demanded money and during a struggle between Llewellyn and one of the gunmen, he was shot. Llewellyn managed to run from the bar, but collapsed along the road while the gunmen fled the scene. The police were summoned, and upon arrival, found Llewellyn lying in a pool of blood with multiple gunshot wounds to his upper body. He was rushed to hospital by the police, where he was pronounced dead. 90s dancehall hitmaker Spraga Benz has shared that he is working on a new film for which he has just wrapped up shooting. Spraga made the revelation on social media, sharing behind the scenes footage with his fans. In one scene, the DJ was featured pulling out a chair for a female at a restaurant, while another scene revealed a smiling Spraga decked out in scrubs at a hospital. Titled Unbelievable 
with production being done by Top Notch Vision Films and Red Square Productions, the new flick was shot in Florida and stars Spraga, with appearances from Bensley Hype, Super Twitch, and cast from the 2022 film Second Chance. It is unclear what Unbelievable is about, but based on an exchange between Spraga and a fan, the DJ's response implied that it will not be a continuation of Shada's. Spraga Benz made his acting debut in the 2001 film Brooklyn Babylon. A year later, he played the character Wayne alongside Kimani Marley in the internationally acclaimed Jamaican gangster film Shada's, and in 2022, he played the character David in the movie Second Chance.